Hello guys, so I'm starting off this vlog literally looking like a whole ass mess, but I just woke up. It is currently my birthday. Obviously when this gets posted, it won't be, but I am doing my birthday makeup look. So I'm going to be using these two palettes here to create a honey looking vibe. So yeah. So the first thing that I did is I dipped into like an orange shadow in the Jeffree Star X Morphe palette and I blended that all up in my crease for my transition color. So the next thing that I did is I went into the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette and I grabbed that neon yellow and all I did was I blended the yellow on top of my orange just to have a more like honey-esque type vibe honestly when I was doing this makeup I had no idea what I was doing I was just looking at colors and being like okay I think I want that so right now I'm just trying to create a gradient yellow orange vibe to my crease So once that is all blended, I went into the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette and then the Jeffree Star X Morphe palette and I mixed these oranges together. Everything will be in the description bar below, but I took like a small pencil brush and I made like a V shape on my outer crease area and then I just blended it all out with a fluffy brush. So now I am sticking like another orange on top of the one that I just blended just to make it more gradient and I continue to do that for a hot ass minute and disclaimer, no there's not a dead body on the bed behind me. I literally woke up which means Jose is literally sleeping so I just had to put that out there. So the next shade that I put on my eye was this very matte orange shade. It wasn't really dark. As you can tell when I put the brush onto my eyelids, it actually didn't change a thing. Uh, but I did put that over my eyelid just to somewhat cancel out my skin color even though it didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. So at this point, I'm contemplating my choices because I was not liking that shade that I put on my lid. So I went ahead and I took a different synthetic brush and I put some water on it and I went into a yellow shimmer shade from the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette and I just placed that all over my lids. Alrighty, so once I put that yellow on my eyelid, I went ahead and just primed my face with the IT Cosmetics Primer and I just put that all over my face. So I wanted my face to be a little more dewy today, so I went ahead and also put on the Wet n Wild Primer, their newest one, and I put that all over my face as well. And now for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. This has been my favorite foundation. I have used it every single time I've been doing my makeup. I love it so much. I love how like liquidy it is and it just feels super light on my face, but it has a full coverage. Like I love this foundation. So now for concealer, I went in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I used two different shades. I used a concealer that was like two shades lighter just to brighten up my under eyes and then I went over it with my correct concealer shade and I just put that under my eyes to get that full coverage look. I actually love this concealer as well. This has been a new favorite as mine. Again, it's super light and I've noticed that I have no creasing under my eyes, which is a plus for me. Thank you. 
Okay, so then I used my e.l.f. HD baking setting powder and I just put that under my eyes and all over my face to set my concealer and foundation. And now to contour my face, I am using the Hoola bronzer and I am just putting that on my temples, which is your forehead and my cheekbone area. And then I went ahead and I put a little on my jaw. So I didn't really enjoy how warm that contour shade was so I went in with a Kat Von D shade and light contour palette and I used the first shade in the palette which is the coolest shade and I just went over my cheekbones and my jawline one last time for a more cooler toned look. And I felt very, very spontaneous that day so I decided to bake my face and I used the Morphe Bacon Set Powder. Love this powder so much. So I went ahead and I baked my cheekbones. So while the powder is baking, I decided to add some blush to my cheekies. So I used the new Wet n Wild blush. There's not really a name to it. It's literally just called New Formula. Like it says New Formula. But I used one of their new blushes and I put that on my cheeks to give me some color while the powder sat. Okay, and so I wanted that baking powder to sit a little longer, so I went ahead and did my lash line color. I went into the Jeffree Star X Morphe palette, and I grabbed this sort of red color, and I just dragged that on my lower lash line and then blended it out. Alrighty, so here I'm just applying the Swarovski crystals to my eye. I didn't use an actual like glue. It says like a glitter glue, but it's kind of more of a primer. So I had to put a lot on a specific area for the gem to stick. And then I applied the Swarovski crystal with a tweezer and then just pressed down a little bit in hopes that it stayed. And then I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the baking on my face. Good morning, Jose. He literally didn't give two shits. <laughs> like, he's so... He looked and then he... I can't get over it. Okay, anyways, the next thing I do is I take mascara and I put it on my lower lash line to give my eyelashes a little more volume and yeah and then last but certainly not least I'm setting my face with the morphe setting spray and then I'm gonna show you this cool hair transition watch watch this oh oh no and I oh yes queen you better work anyways i'm gonna get back into the vlog style now bye love you Alrighty, so i just got done finishing up my makeup i need to clean my room because it literally looks like a disaster i got ready really early because i was excited to try the new palettes he got me he got me the jaclyn hill volume 2 palette and the jeffree star x morphe palette like the pink one You'll see it in the video. But yeah. Bitch, look how cute we are. I got word that is well, well, let's drown. Toot it up, back it up, slap it down. Put it in water with your from when I came around. I'm scared. Annabelle, Mommy, can you 
can you tell the vlog where we're going? We're gonna go to the mall to get Titi's ear pierced. Oh, you we're getting a piercing. Hey guys, sorry I look so tired, but it is day two of my birthday celebration, I guess. So right now I'm getting ready to go meet my mom and her boyfriend and my brother at Panera. We're gonna go to Ulta first because I'm gonna do a little, a little shopping spree. And then we're gonna go to Panera for lunch. And yeah, and then tonight we're gonna head over to the condo. Uh, to celebrate there. So probably the next time I see you will be in Ulta or at Panera. So love you. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. Oh. Hey guys, so I just got out of work. I look like shit, but um, we're heading to my house right now to grab Jose's, oh, to grab Jose's stuff, and then we're headed to the condo. So I'm gonna show you around before we go to sleep for tomorrow. So I'll see you at the condo. Hello guys, we made it to the condo. I'm gonna show you around because this place is so nice. I mean, it's kind of a little dirty because of us, but it is so nice. So let's get to it. You can literally hear them.
We're gonna eat and chill. No. This is so cute. What the fuck? Wow. How cute is this? Oh. water park uh, so we're cleaning up the condo and then we're gonna go to the uh, water park that's here I've never seen it so the next time you see me I'll be in a bathing suit and showing you the water park period anyways love you and I'll see you there film that much but that was the overall walkthrough of the water park so I will see you guys very soon bye So we just got back from the resort. It was so fun. I got burnt, so I'm kind of tired. So we're going to take a nap. And then we're going to finish this vlog off with some pizza and chill. I'm hungry. Me too. <laughs>